Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today is part seven of my makeup collection and declutter. I did rename these after a suggestion that said I should probably rename them my collection declutter because people were getting quite upset with me about not decluttering enough and I was like oh okay sorry guys. <laughs> I, do, I don't know I didn't mean to offend people but um, yes my makeup collection and declutter. So this is part seven and today we'll be going through um, right here we go coloured liquid liners, brow colour products like pencil pomades, brow gel, mascaras, black liquid liners, coloured pencil liners, neutral pencil dye liners and lashes. Don't forget the lashes. So yeah, we'll be going through all of that today. I want to try and break it up into categories as much as I possibly can to give you like decent numbers and not like, I'm keeping 150 things, but you know, they're all in different categories. So yeah, that's what we'll be decluttering today. Um, I just want to make a note and just say, please do not ask for any of the makeup products I have decluttered today. They are all spoken for, family and friends. Um, we'll get them where I deem appropriate. Things to do around the eye area, a little bit heebie-jeebie. I'm not quite a fan of passing on secondhand mascaras and eyeliners. It freaks me out a tad. Um, but they will be decluttered to friends and family who, where I think it's appropriate. And then where it's not appropriate, when it should be going in the bin, where it's expired or it's just not very sanitary, I'll be cleaning them and recycling them in the Maybelline Recycling Centre near me. So um, all the products are spoken for. Please don't ask the products uh, because you will be sorely disappointed when I say no or ignore it. But yeah, if you want to see me declutter all of those items, Items. Oh god, I hate this one. I really do hate this one. Like ugh, fiddly little pencils. I'm just like, ugh, someone do it for me. But we had to do it. We had to do it. So let's get into it. Okay, so this drawer. This drawer is mascaras. All mascaras I've opened. These are all open mascaras. Let's just not talk about how many mascaras I need to open at once. Let's just not do it. Uh, neutral, dry, and wet black liners. Is that maybe just black and wet liners? Just basically black. No, it's not. These are dry pencil black liners. These are neutral ones, so like beiges, whites, very, very light browns, just stuff I might need. And these are all the colourful ones that I've got. These are liquid colourful liners. And then here is liquid black and brown uh, eyeliners. These are brow pomades, got a freckle pen there, just like brow bits and brow stencils. Brow pencils all in here and brow gels here. And then have all of these glitters, which honestly, I struggle to get rid of because I'm like, I might need this, but like, when am I ever going to need this? <sighs> I don't know. And then I've got all my Jeffree Star colourful liquid li liquid lipsticks in here, which are good for like fun on the eyes and stuff like that, which I'm, I might keep a lot of these, but I might just, again, redo how I set this all out. Well, something we learned there is that this thing had leaked absolutely everywhere. So we'll get to that in a minute. But I am now slightly stained. Love that for me. So let's start off with these water activated liners by Barry M. Um, I am actually going to keep all of these. I really, really like them. So apart from when they <sighs> spill everywhere. But you know, maybe that's my fault for not storing them properly. I stored them on its side. Maybe I should have stored them upright. That's my fault. Anyway, okay, I've got six of these and I'm going to keep all of them. I think they're really, really great. They're basically just water activated liners. They're really good fun. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to have to store them a bit better. If they come out with more of these, I will definitely pick them up. I think they're good fun. They're about five pounds. Um, I'm keeping all of those. I'm also keeping the Barium, uh, is there one more? Oh, here you go. The Barium High Viz liquid liners. These are actually really good fun. Um, yeah, they're, they're just really good fun. Really good pastel shades as well. Um, and I don't reach for them that often, but it's like when I do want them, I don't want something very expensive. These are like four or five pounds each and they would more than do the job, you know? So I am gonna keep them because I like to do artistic things now and then and these are kind of perfect for that. So I wanna keep these. I don't even know where to start to be honest. <laughs> This thing here, this is the Rimmel London Ink Me Stamp Tattoo and it's got like a little heart on it. Honestly, like I'm probably never going to use this, but equally I know that no one in my life will either. So I am just going to keep it. Maybe one day I'll do something avant-garde. Um, oh God, look, it's leaking everywhere. Uh, I will keep this for now, but honestly, like it probably won't survive my next declutter. But I want to give it a chance for me to actually use it. So I want to just keep it for now. Going into just Colourpop liners, I'm just going to pick out all of these Colourpop ones because I'm absolutely keeping all of them. 
I love all of these ColourPop liners. I have some really bright neon ones and some like lovely deep sultry ones. So these four here are like, I mean, look at that. Look at those, look how bright they are. You know, if I ever need something like this, I've got it and that's just like a nice thing to have. To be honest, because these are like cream gel liners as well, they're not gonna dry out too much. And if they do, I can just warm them up. They're just really good. Um, this lovely mustard and brown are from the Raw Beauty Christie collection. I really wanted the green that came with this, but it sold out like very, very quickly. I've got, is this spoon? Teaspoon, it's a really good green. It just looks like this, a really, really good green. Um, and then I have this white, I think this is white, yeah. Exit, this white liner. Um, I have their black one, standard, a brown one, I think it's Mr. Bing, yeah, Mr. Bing, um, and then I have these two here, which is like this blue and this magenta, I don't know if you can see them there, this blue and magenta, I really like the Colourpop cream gel liners, honestly, like, if I didn't have random ones already, I'd just buy the book of them, but honestly, I don't use liner that often, um, but when I do, these are probably the, like, the liners I go to to pick up, but they're really quite nice. Oh, okay, let's pick out some black liners that I just know are really quite nice. Okay, these liners are really, really nice. I find liners and um, stuff like this really boring to declutter, by the way. So I am sorry, I'm going to try and just go through it quickly. This is just the ColourPop liquid liner. This is just the black shade. It's called Numero Uno. I'm keeping. It's just nice. I'll use it until it's, like, dead. Um, I have the two Benefit roller liners. I have the black one and the brown one. These are both really, really lovely eyeliners. Keeping. Um, the Soap and Glory Sexy or Crazy Sexy Coal liner. This is a black um, coal liner, really, really smudgy, really, really lovely. This Sport FX finish liner is like really waterproof, really, really great. Um, doesn't bleed or anything. I then have the Huda Beauty one, which I think is like a pencil and liquid liner twist. There you go. So you've got the liquid liner on one side, and then you've got the pencil liner on the other. This is just nice. To be honest, it's Huda Beauty. I'm just going to keep it because it's nice to have different brands. But yeah, keeping those. This one I'm going to get rid of. This is the Essence Dip Liner. Honestly, this is still juicy and it's still fine. But it is just really, really old now. Like, really old. So I'm going to just put this straight in the bin. It's it's years old and it needs to go. Okay, let's do some mascaras. This Ellie Fast Mascara is amazing. Like, look, at it, it looks like a massive like, bullet or torpedo. It looks amazing. The problem is with this mascara is it arrived, or rather I opened it, and it was very dry and it wasn't very nice on my lashes. So I am actually going to get rid of this. Um but it's such beautiful packaging and like look at this packaging it's absolutely stunning but yeah it's it i've literally used it once and it wasn't very nice it was too dry on my eyelids eyelids eyelashes so i'm gonna get rid of this in the bin too this mascara this mascara this mascara actually too fair some of these probably are dry as hell um right this one this one okay i know that these are relatively not new but they're like i opened them only a month or so ago so, you know just like roughly a month or so um beginning of this year anyway this is the sport effects stamina mascara this is a waterproof mascara right here it's okay it's all right um the benefit there real magnetic mascara i actually really quite like this it's a very lovely mascara you've got the urban decay lash freak can't say it's my favorite if i'm perfectly honest i think it's a little bit messy the lashes look very nice but it's just not easy and quick to use mascara is one of those things where i hate applying mascara because it just takes so long for me to perfect my very straight pointy down lashes this was just a bit of a ball ache so i probably wouldn't purchase it but oh no i've chipped a nail already but if it um came into my life i you know again i wouldn't be too opposed to it the bad girl bang i really really like this mascara the only thing i don't like about it is it does transfer on my lower lashes that is the only thing i have noticed with this mascara i can't be wearing like an emollient um foundation because it will transfer but it makes my lashes look banging um then the Essen essence lash princess mascaras honestly the best mascaras on the market for the price honestly like it's not just good for the price these are good mascaras i'd say that these compete with benefit these essence mascaras are banging so yeah keeping all of these unless i'm particularly opposed to a mascara like i don't like it at all i'll just use it until it's completely worn out um this color pop volumizing mascara in the shade brownie points is really old so we're going to throw that in the bin because it's dried out i have no idea what the blue one is like this is blue your mind uh, okay that's relatively wet still so we'll keep this 
I'm actually not a massive um, like coloured mascara fan, but I do love a burgundy and a blue and a brown. That's like the only other colour apart from black that I'll wear on my lashes. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't mind having this in the in the mix. This one here, what is this? This is the Witch Lash by Medusa's Makeup. Oh, I remember this being awful. Yeah, like look at this brush. Can you see that? Look at that brush. That's supposed to be for your eyelashes. This is going to go in the bin because no one wants this. It's gross. Uh, this, which is the Wonder Brow. Do you remember when this was such an iconic moment? This is, I mean, no, it's dried out. It's probably gone off. I haven't used it in a long time and I just can't be bothered to be finicky with it. It was fun at the time. I did use it quite a lot, but nowadays I'm after that fluffy brow, not quite the sculpted blocky brow that we all used to apply. So this is going to go in the bin. We have a few little mascaras here. I might just open these all up and just see what the situation is. This Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes uh, is dry. I've, to be fair, it's dry because I've used up. I bloody love this mascara. I think I've actually got a backup full size. It's a really, really lovely wand. Really, really nice. I like how it points in the tip and it's actually a really good size for my lashes personally. Um, really like it, but obviously I've used this up. This Ted Baker one, I think it came in like a Christmas set. Uh, um, do you know what? It's still wet on the tip. Do you know, I might just keep it and just I, like try it out. And if it's rubbish, I'll just declutter it later on, but I'll keep this for now. The Monsieur Big Mascara. Um, still feels pretty good. Okay, we're gonna keep that. The Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. Honestly, I really don't like this. I think the brush is just far too big. It's like an actual hornet for a brush, you know? Like, you compare this, for example, to the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. You compare the two brush types and you can just see which one you're going to get more precision with, you know? Hopefully you can see that against contrast on my hands. Um, it's just not my favourite mascara. And it's drying out, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, lovely packaging, though. Absolutely love the packaging. Like, look how cute that is. It's so pretty, but it's gonna have to go. This is Benefit's Roller Lash Mini Mascara. I think, yeah, this is like properly worn out. I can even see the pink color. Well, you won't be able to say, but I can see the pinkness on the brush where there's no mascara left. But this is a really, really lovely mascara. I can see why everyone like loves this Roller Lash Mascara. It's really, really good. This one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Uh, I think this is actually still good. I don't like to have, again, I don't like to have more than one or two waterproof mascaras open at one time. I have got that Sport FX one, but this is just a little, little mini. Um, I'll keep this in, in play for a while. I love this packaging too. It's so pretty. Kat Von D, go big or go home. Feels okay for now. I probably would just use this up maybe, put it in a project pan perhaps. I actually haven't got a mascara in my project pan, so maybe I could put that in there. The Ico Lash Alert Mascara wake up and go this isn't waterproof oh my god what the hell happened to this brush interesting i feel like i want to try this out that looks odd okay keep that this one is relatively new to me this packaging is so nice it's the game changing mascara by sport effects it's a waterproof mascara and miracle remover i think i actually did a video like this was the mascara that i used in the video of a full face of weird products i'll link that up in the eye up here if you want to go check that out but this is a weird product because it's got the remover in it as well um i'll keep this why not there's nothing really wrong with it i just don't use waterproof mascara that often uh, this pairs soap so i've got this soap here for soap brows um i might just put this in my bathroom and just use it for soap i mean i did use quite a fair bit of it as you can see like I did use quite a bit of this pair of soap. This is really, really good for soap brows. But um, now that I have the Anastasia brow gel, oh, where is that? Here it is, here it is. This is the Anastasia um, brow freeze. Uh, now I've got this, I really don't need this. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this, but I'm not gonna get rid of it, rid of it. I'm just gonna put it in my bathroom and we'll use it just as hand soap, which, you know, let's be honest, is what its intended purpose is. Oh, and I'm keeping the Anastasia brow freeze. Okay, let's go on to brows for a bit. Let's have this like, little mini detour into brows. Oh, hang on. This ColourPop freckle pen, really, really love this. When I want to do freckles, which I'll be honest, isn't that often, but when I do want to do them, this is a really, really nice one. This is just like the light, soft brown even, soft brown, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Some more brow products here. Um, we've got gels, Benefit gel here more gel these are all really lovely so this is saint lux brow gel i use quite often you can probably see it in my description bar it's actually really really nice i don't think you can buy it because i think it's like a glossy box brand i'm not actually sure where you'd buy saint lux but i'm gonna keep it until i've used it all up this is the 
Bravo Conditioning Primer from Benefit. This is actually a really, really nice brow product, especially when you don't want to put any makeup on. You just want to like fluff up the brows, um, but you don't want to wash your face later that day, you know? That's like a no makeup, putting yourself together look. The Gimme Brow, I've got mine in shade three. Yeah, shade three, Gimme Brow is like a staple. I love having Gimme Brow. Um, and the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. This was actually a birthday present from my friends. This is actually such a beautiful product. Um, it's very easy to go overboard with this. I would really love to pick up the clear version of that as well. Um, and then I also have the Benefit 3D Brow Tones, which, I mean, they're interesting. I've got mine in shade two. They're like blonde brow tones for your brows, so like give them extra dimension. Um, like I'm gonna keep it because there's nothing wrong with it and I'll probably just use it, but just not as regularly as like other brow gels, so. Yeah, keeping all of these. I know you're probably thinking, is she gonna get rid of anything? But honestly, like the whole point of this for me is to go through things, just pick a few things out that need to go in the bin or like brand new things that I've not even used. Like this, have I actually ever used this brow coat? Oh, I think I've used it once. I'm going to get rid of this brow coat. Um, I just think it needs to go in the bin. Uh, I don't know, maybe someone will want this. It's just like a brow gel, simple brow gel, but I've used it once, but um, it smells a bit alcoholy to be honest with you. Do you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this because I don't, I just, I wouldn't wanna pass this on to someone. I just don't think I like it that much. And uh, yeah, it's a bit, something about it is just a bit janky in my mind. So I wanna throw it in the bin. This W7 Super Brows Super Definition Eyebrow Pencil, I'm gonna get rid of. It's brand new. So someone else can have this, I'm sure, if they feel like their brow color is this brow color. But um, it's not mine. It's far too warm for me. Like far, far too warm. So I'm gonna just pass this on to someone who might like it. Ooh, this by Benefit, the Brow Microfilling 10. This has kind of got those three little teeth. I don't know if you could be able to see it on camera there. It's got three little teeth. These are actually so, so nice. The only thing, like I've got mine in the shade light brown. The only thing I've got to say that's bad against it is it does tend to run out and you've got to keep it like this way so all the ink flows to the tip, which I keep all my brow products like this. Look how much that pink has stained my hands. But um, I keep my brow products like laying flat. So sometimes when I want to go use it, I have to be cognizant that it needs to sit like this for a bit, which is a bit annoying, but I'll keep it. This I am going to get rid of. This is the Benacost Natural Beauty fun size mascara nothing about this is fun to me and i'm gonna get rid of it okay brow pencils let's just go through a couple of these at a time because why not all of these brow pencils i have this ColourPop brow boss one which uh hasn't got a lot left in it this brow boss isn't my favorite it's actually the other brow pencil that's my favorite the one that you can't retract um but i will use this it's a really really nice color for me it's called taupe taupe trap no just taupe but i'll keep this one um the benefit brow sketch pencil i will just keep this this is in the shade blonde you get a spoolie and it's quite fine so i will keep this just because it's a nice brow pencil and i like to have variety okay like i do youtube i apply different products on my face every single day sometimes twice a day like depending on how many times i film so yeah this winky Lux one the uni brow i feel like a lot of people like didn't like this but actually I think this is quite a universally flattering shade I like it I just don't like how like soft and nub like nubby the tip gets it can get a little bit like nubby which is a bit difficult to control but yeah once it's used up I, you know I use it up it's nice I do use it the benefit precisely my brow pencil I've got mine in the shade three um this is really really lovely beautiful brow pencil highly recommend benefits brow products so you do really good ones um the juvius place brow pencil I've got mine in the shade medium brown and um, this does look a bit too warm for me in terms of a bit like um well yeah warm but actually i think it's gonna be okay and i haven't actually used this yet so uh boo me this MUA a brow define eyebrow pencil is like a sharpenable pencil and not my favorite type of brow pencils if i'm perfectly honest but i do want to keep some drugstore like versions of stuff that's accessible in the uk and actually looking down in my hand i don't think i have a lot so i want to keep this one but i do see this one here by MUA which uh well let's just keep both they're both by MUA i like to keep some sort of drugstore versions of stuff this is by sport effects this is the shape up brow pencil in brunette this smells literally like play-doh i thought i could smell it as soon as i opened that lid so i'm gonna give pin this but it's a shame because it's actually a really nice brow product it's about 10 pounds so 
uh, semi-affordable. I've then got the Brow Beater by Urban Decay. This is like a little bit dry for my liking, but I will use it up. It's in the shade Taupe. I think I'm just opening the wrong side. Yeah, uh, it's in the shade Taupe. It's a, it's, it's a really nice product. It's just a tiny bit dry. Um, and then the same thing is Soap and Glory Archery. I need to use this up. There isn't a lot left in it. Honestly, this is like a current theme with my brow products. It's because I like to try lots of things out. I like start and don't finish everything. Um, but as soon as I like, I hunker down on one product, it usually gets used up pretty quick. Brow powders. I've got Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder. Um, I will keep this, but I don't know. I've got two brow powders. That is it. So I think I want to keep both of them. I think. I do like to have a brow powder every now and again. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep, I've only got two. I'm gonna keep both of these. This is the Essence one and the Benefit one. A Benefit one is obviously much nicer packaging, um, but the Essence one is good because I can pop these two out and they're magnetic and I can pop these two in like a travel pan if I wanted to, and if I was traveling really light. So yeah, we'll keep these for now. This is the ColourPop Dope Taupe Pomade, brand new, unused. I panned my other one the other year, but I will keep this it's brand new okay oh another one of these better than sex mascaras uh oh this one's kind of open no this one's kind of dry okay we're gonna get rid of this one we already have one of the little sample sizes over there too get rid of that oh anastasia beverly hills brow gel i really love this brow gel it is actually i think i have used the whole thing up though so um yeah there's like literally no product on this so i'm gonna get rid of it because it's literally finished i was gonna talk about tools um so these tools i'm not gonna get rid of because well they're just tools and you know that's handy isn't it so i think that's it yeah I think this is it in terms of tools i've got like this eyeliner thing by ico that you like put on and you can like swipe your eyeliner on or something i don't know this is like an eyeball refresher sure thing a smudger another smudger this is beautiful this eyeliner brush really really beautiful um and then this is like an eyebrow shaper which i actually really do need to use so yeah keeping all of these but i'll probably not put them back in the drawer i'll probably just put them in my little drawer in front of me full of tools oh and i have these these are the real techniques brow like stencils um yeah i'll keep these in my brow products though because i think I don't want to really put this with my tools. I think I'll put them with my stuff over here. This a volume mascara by Dr. Hauschka. It's this like lovely uh, tealy color, but honestly I'm gonna get rid of this because I didn't like the formula on my lashes. It was just a bit too wet and did transfer everywhere. So I am gonna get rid of this. Right, this NYX Vivid Brights liner. I got this in like a beauty box or something. I will keep it, it's like this really cool purple. Um, yeah, keep it that. What is this? Cella Ivory Lace Highlighter. I will never use this, but it's like literally been used once. So I'm gonna pass this on. This Ico Fat Liquid Black Liner is mahusive and I do not need it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Pass it to a friend, I'm sure it'll be fine. This is Ciate Stamp and Drag. I will keep this because it's a bit different. Um, it's like you stamp on a wing liner and then you can draw it out. I mean, this again is massive, but I'm not, I don't need two massive eyeliners. So I'll keep this one and get rid of the Ico. Um, what else we got here? The Elamazka liquid liner. I will keep this. It's really nice. I have definitely used this. We'll keep this. How many liquid eyeliners have I actually got though? That is the question. This is the Ico one. It's really skinny and I like it. The Ciate one is kind of old, um, but I'll use that until it's dried up. This is nearly on its way out, but I'll just finish it. This Beauty Crop Wing Woman one is exactly the same. It's starting to dry out, but it is a really nice one. So I will keep it for now. Pen Eyeliner by 3 in A. Oh, that's so small. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep that one. So far we have five, no, yeah, five liquid liners. And I probably put more in there, didn't I? This is not good. Okay, uh... oh, this is brand new one. This Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. I think if I have a backup of this, then I'll get rid of it. But honestly, like if I don't, then I might keep it even if it's in the cellophane because I've always wanted to try this liner out. Um, but just for now, I'm going to put it in the giving away part because I'm pretty sure I have another one of those little baby ones somewhere. Um, so we'll just put that in the discard pile. We'll keep these five liquid liners. Um, I'm pretty sure I put some more over here. So it's probably about eight, but never mind. That's all right. There's like two or three of these on their way out, to be fair. I've got two cream gel liners, one by London Copyright, never heard of them. And then this one is by Elamasca. It's really, really, really good. Really, really good. It's starting to dry out, but I have got some 
um, Duraline? No, wait, no, not Duraline. Uh, wait, what's it called? Not Invisalign. It is Duraline. Yeah, I've got some Duraline that I can drop in there. I will just keep these two because, you know, that's not too bad. Two gel liners. And then we have all of this. Ugh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This pixie one, really, really love it. The pixie by Tre Petra and the silky eye pen. It's black and I'm going to keep it. This Sport FX Definition Duo liner, I'm going to get rid of because I haven't used it in a while. It's got a black and a brown. Maybe one of my friends would like that. Pass that on. This purple liner, haven't used it in a while. I'm going to get rid of it. This Mirror Mirror eye pencil, haven't used it in a while. I'm going to get rid of it. This one here, this Color Couture eye crown is really, really nice. But honestly, like, again... I'm never going to probably use this, so I'm going to get rid of this too. This model's own one, it's kind of got like a glittery black to it. I'm, I haven't used it enough, so there's no point in me keeping it. So I am going to let this one go. I've used this only a couple of times. Here, Colour Couture, another liner. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need all these black liners. Um, this white one by Essence. Um, I actually am going to keep my Kajal liners by Essence. These are really, really nice. So I've got this white one and this like nude windy up one that i've used a couple of times as well so well i've actually used it more than a couple of times keep this one this silver one's interesting this is by stargazer glitter pencil i have no idea but it's it's silver and i quite like it so i'm going to keep this one i've not got a silver one um what's this m and co oh this is the black one this is really 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 nice really coaly and I'm going to keep that. The Arrow and Hearts is like this nudie pink, which I'm going to keep for my like waterline. The Urban Decay White um, Cosmic Liner, I'm going to keep. I actually have my other ones from my Project Pan from last year that I will add now. Where are they? Hang on. I found some other things. I found some other things. These are my um, Urban Decay 24 7 liners. I'm just going to keep all of them. I really like them. It just takes me a long time to get through a liner. Um, I found my Urban Decay brow blade. Love this. It's got the ink stain and the waterproof pencil. Really, really like it. I also found my iconic London Triple Threat mascara. Wait, was this here the whole time? No, I don't think it was. Um, I really like this mascara and I'm going to keep this. Um, and then finally, we have. Let me just put these side i haven't got rid of too much have i this is the ciate define liner oh this is nice oh it's like a champagne -y color yeah we'll keep that i haven't got something like that this is the number seven stay perfect eyeliner pencil similar to the ciate one honestly i think my mum would like this or someone of a sort so i will get rid of this one because i don't need two that are the same um and then this one is the coal liner by Gillian dempsey which is this brown liner with a smudger, which I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wanna keep. Okay, I've got a Pritt stick for avant-garde gluing my brows down, love that for me. I'm gonna keep these little gems. I really wanna start getting into gems and stuff. I really do wanna start getting into that, so I'm gonna keep those. These glitter paints are supposed to be for your body and stuff, and they're like really, really sparkly. They're from Primark, but oh, see, when I do that, I'm like, I wanna keep it. But like honestly i really don't need these i really don't need these why am i convincing myself no i'm gonna get rid of them and maybe my cousin can use them for like having fun with so i'm going to get rid of these and pass them on because they are like activated with a bit of water as well to be even more metallic and you can paint them all over your body so i'm sure she'll have lots of fun with that with her friends or something i don't know um, I also want to keep these gems as well. And then we've got glitter, glitter galore. I have this beautiful Ted Baker glitter, which is kind of like on this poof thing. But I don't use glitter, that's my problem. So I'm going to pass this on because glitter doesn't go off. I'm going to just like let people have this if they want the glitter. Um, and I think I might just keep all of these, which I got from eBay once. This is not very eye safe and I have never used these glitters ever, ever, ever. But you can guarantee as soon as I get rid of them, I want to use them. Uh, why am I keeping things? Okay, I'm, uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to keep them on the basis that they never go off. So at any opportunity, if someone says, I want glitter, I can be like, here, take whatever glitter you want. But they don't go off. So I'm kind of like, what's the point in getting rid of them? um you know so i might just make it known to my friends i have lots of glitter if they want any and just keep them in this little 
glossy box tray. It's staying quite tidy anyway, so, you know? But I will get rid of this one. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave it in here. Sure. <laughs> oh, God. But I'm going to get rid of these. I'm definitely going to get rid of these ones. Um, and I'm going to keep my little, my little gems... If I can keep it all contained to a lid of glossy box, I feel like that's not too bad. And then I have my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I do actually use these as liners because they're really colourful. I don't put these on my lips. I'm just going to sit here now opening all of these up and seeing if they're dry or not. If they're dry, it's going in the bin. If it's still wet, I'll keep it. Okay, well out of all of them, only I'd say like half are going in the bin, which is kind of sad. Um, I might honestly keep a couple of these sparkly ones for packaging in like a memoirs box just to look at them and like adore them because look how stunning these are. Like they are stunning. So um, yeah, these are all going to go away. I'm wondering if I can fit this all in like one box, you know. Let's see if we can do that. that's okay i'm actually not like oh, i don't know when it comes to counting i'm only going to count the jeffree star liquid lipsticks i'm not going to like count the glitter because honestly this is like craft glitter so i don't really want to sit here and be like i'm going to count every single pot of glitter that i'm keeping because i could easily tomorrow just get rid of the whole lot like it's not a problem for me but i'm just going to keep it until i feel like i want to actually get rid of it i've got the space so why not um but i will be counting the jeffree star lipsticks as part of the declutter so in terms of counting i have no idea how i'm going to do this i feel like i should maybe start off with liners um and i'm going to include these as part of the liners so maybe i will do that first because i feel like if we include them all as one thing it's going to be like 98 products but then only four of them might be a brow gel for example and like 20 of them might be eyeliners but they all might be different colored liners and things like that so i am going to break this down like to a finite point i don't know if that's going to be nice or not but i'm just going to do it like that so we are keeping 22 color liquid eyeliners these ones are obviously my preference on here and then we can go for the more like avant-garde look with the jeffree star liquid lipsticks in here but keeping 22 colorful colorful liquid eyeliners and getting rid of we're getting rid of 12 we're getting rid of 12 liquid color eyeliners i think that's too bad i think that's too bad i think that's all right in terms of brow products i think i'm going to divide it between brow gel and brow color so pencils pens powder will be one category and brow gels would be another so let's count them brow products half of them are like half used half empty so i don't feel bad about them and obviously one is a pomade two are brow powders and i've got like ink pens pencils i feel like that's okay let's see how many we got rid of i got rid of three brow products um two in the bin one brand new being passed on honestly like i don't really feel too bad about that um but i could have done better but honestly like, i don't want to get rid of any of them because there's, there's nothing wrong with them and i will genuinely use them i get through brow products pretty quickly because i've got next to no brows they're very very pale so i don't feel too bad about this this it's fine okay brow gels i 
I have six brow gels here, um, which doesn't feel like a lot. I get through brow gel pretty quickly. Again, I don't have a lot of brows. Um, well, I have brows, but the hairs are really long and they need help standing up. This brow um, freeze here, it takes a while to get through and I've been using this at the moment. Um, but I do like to have a variety of brow gels. Not, like I said, I get through them quite quickly. So six, I feel like is pretty good. They all do different things as well. Like that's a tone, that's a prime, that's a gimme brow. This is a clear brow gel, this is tinted and this is a brow freeze. So I do not feel guilty keeping that. Getting rid of three, technically I used one, don't want one, putting this in my bathroom. So got rid of three. I didn't have a lot of brow gels to begin with. I think that's kind of plain and clear to see. Obviously I do have like one in my project pan as well, but I'm just counting what's in my drawers right now. Okay, mascaras. 12 mascaras that I'm keeping. That feels good for me. One of them's coloured. A couple of them are um, uh, waterproof. In fact, three of them are waterproof. That's kind of more than I'd like out at one time. I don't mind one or two, but it's a bit too many, but one of them is a Diddy one. Um, and then I've got a couple of mascaras here that I want to try. Some of them are like on their way out. So I feel good about this number. Okay, that feels good. Let's see what we're getting rid of. Nine. We're getting rid of nine. That's like nearly half. That's really, really good for me. Okay. I mean, these are all used up or I didn't get along with them. So really, really happy about that. Um, this is like a lot of bulk exiting my collection. So really, really happy with this one. Oh no, I forgot a mascara. Okay. Um, add a mascara back. I will make sure that I use the right numbers in the final bit of my exiting of the video, but I forgot a mascara. Whoops. Okay. On to black liners, I think. Black gel liquid liners basically liquid black liners okay okay i have 10 liquid um liners and black liners um and i am going to include this one as well to make it 11 this is the brown roller liner but i'd use the brown liner just like i would the black so 11 black liners is honestly more than i do want um i need to go through these uh, properly like on my eyes and see how juicy they are and just test them but i'm in no rush to do that i'd rather just pick one up and if i don't like it there and then i'll just get rid of it but this is more than i'd like honestly um because technically we have eight not including the gel liners which feels like a lot for black liner so this is probably the category I'm least happy with at the moment. In terms of getting rid of black liners, I'm only getting rid of two. One is going in the bin and one is going to be passed on to someone who wants it because I think I've used this once. I think I'm now going to group them into colourful liners and neutral liners. Oh damn, I have another black liner. Oh my god, okay, I'll add that to the total too. Oh no, another black liner. Oh God, this is really bad. What is that, like 13 black liners? Again, I'll talk about that in the total, but that is really, really rough. <laughs> okay, in terms of colored liners, I've also included these three neutral ones in, but they are like metallic, so I wouldn't class them as like a neutral, soft, natural liner. Um, I've got 12. I don't feel too bad about that. 12 liners of all different colours seems okay. I don't think I've got like dupes here. Maybe these two are a dupe, but honestly I'm okay with just one dupe of one another. I feel good about that number. In terms of getting rid, I'm getting rid of... Ah, oh, damn, I also missed this one. It was a liquid liner that I'm getting rid of. I'll update all the numbers at the end, but I'm getting rid of another liquid liner. This has been a mess. <laughs> this has been a mess. In terms of neutral liners... 14 again feel pretty okay with that that includes white pinky colors nudie brown black you know different shades of brown um i'm okay with this i think honestly i might separate these out into like oh, i don't know they're just nudie shades they're just nudie shades so i feel okay about that one and we're getting rid of five yeah okay well i've cut down a little bit maybe just a quarter which wasn't great but is what it is this is my lash drawer um yes a whole drawer dedicated to lashes honestly like i don't know how much i will be decluttering out of this but it might just be more reorganization and picking out lashes that are just hanging by a thread but normally i'm pretty good with using a pair of lashes until they are literally dead as a dodo and then just getting rid of them there and then so 
Um, I might declutter a couple, just like ones I don't actually like that much, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be glad or sad to hear that this entire Lash Declutter piece uh, file corrupted. So unfortunately I don't actually have the footage of me decluttering the lashes. I have like a few seconds in, like, interval in between each clip which was pretty pointless. So I think let's just skip to the final results just so that you know the numbers. I think I might do the getting rid of pile first because it's smaller and easier. But passing on to friends... 10 pairs of lashes, so I've got four here that um, have been used once, maybe twice, um, if they're okay with them going on their eyes they can have them, and then these ones are brand new, never been used, there's six of these, and then I have four going in the bin. Oh, and two tools, but we won't count those tools. On the keepy keeps pile, Forty-one pairs of lashes and then a few tools here, which I won't count. Forty-one pairs. Um, it's a lot, but remember, some of these are like individual lashes. This one is one pair in here that I, I need to get rid of. Really, um, really, I'd say only half of these are like lashes that I truly, truly treasure. The rest of them are just going to be used until they're all janky. I'm not mad at this. I'm glad I've gone through it and just, you no, know, taken the wood out to see the trees. You know, so. I feel like I did okay. Okay, but maybe not as good as I would want to have done. I feel like throughout these clutters, I've decluttered about 20 to 30% of my entire collection, which when I say it out loud like that, I'm like, mm, yeah, that's okay. Like, I'm okay with that. I would like to declutter more, but honestly, I don't want to just declutter it for the sake of getting rid of it. I feel like that's a little bit wasteful. There's no point in me spending my hard earned money if I'm just going to get rid of it. So, yeah, I kept 135 products overall and decluttered 51. So, in that breakdown, um, I kept 22 color liquid eyeliners and decluttered 12 so got rid of 30% out of that category. I kept 14 brow colour products, pomades, pencils, you name it, and decluttered three, so I only got rid of 20%. Um, brow gels, kept six, decluttered three, so that's 30% gone. Uh, mascaras, 13 mascaras were kept, nine mascaras were got rid of, so that's 40%. Mascaras were practically used up anyway, so arguable if that's a declutter or just me being lazy not throwing them away. 13 black liners were kept and three were got rid of so only 15% in that area um, and 12 coloured pencil liners were kept and two coloured pencil liners were got rid of so it's only 10%. I feel like pencils are one of those things like I didn't have a lot of coloured pencils to begin with I don't buy them so I didn't really need to declutter a lot of them. Um, where am I? 14 neutral pencil liners were kept and five were got rid of so that's 25% gone and then for lashes I kept 41 pairs of lashes and decluttered 10 and binned four so that's about 10 to 15% I got rid of there but overall I did declutter 30% between the two drawers of makeup so Mm, you win some you lose some I would have liked that to have been a tiny bit more but maybe at the end of the year I might just do one long video of going through all of my makeup and just decluttering it again and having a little bit of a cleanse you know so maybe that will be the case but yeah thank you so much for watching I really do hope you've enjoyed thumbs this video up if you have subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because you'll be notified of all the videos I upload I upload every other day three to four videos a week so don't miss out on that and ring the bell and let me know down below do you have lots and lots of pencil liners i feel like it's just the most boring part of my collection like mascaras brow products and eyeliners and lashes i just feel like it's just like ugh, boring but how do you feel i'd like to know but yeah that's it from me so take care guys stay safe and i'll see you in my next one bye